Are we actually the smartest species on the planet? Our knowledge of science and technology grows with time and the development of our civilization has given some individuals the inspiration to reinvent what we already have, leading to the creation of new substances. As we know, chemicals play an important role in our daily lives, so it is impossible to overlook the possibility that several of these substances might have negative consequences, especially if used wrongly. Whatever a mechanism we employed to get these substances, it appears that we were able to utilize them effectively, while the majority are relatively secure or even necessary for survival. Others will rob you of your life very quickly. Welcome back to Mind Blowing Top 5, where we bring things that will blow your mind. Here's our top 5 deadliest substances no one can hide from. If you're new here, make sure to watch the entire video and make sure to subscribe to our channel to help us grow and continuously provide these amazing content. Let's begin with our number 5. Botulinum Toxin A Who doesn't want to appear young when they're 60? That's something I'm sure all of us would appreciate. Botulinum Toxin A is known in its short name variant, Botox. Botox injections are noted primarily for the ability to reduce the appearance of facial wrinkles. This is why some rich and famous still look young and have great appearances. But this is not the only use. In fact, they're only used to treat conditions such as neck spasms or cervical dystonia, excessive sweating or hyperhidrosis, an overactive bladder, and lazy eye. Since this is FDA approved, it is used majorly in cosmetic procedures, making it one of the most common non-surgical cosmetic procedures. Although Botox injections of the cosmetic or therapeutic variety are unlikely to cause death, the treatment is not 100% risk-free. The most common Botox side effects are mild and temporary redness, swelling, or bruising at the injection site. In the event of product migration, rare yet more serious complications are possible. These are muscle weakness, blurred vision, drooping eyelids, difficulty swallowing, speech problems, and breathing difficulties. But these complications don't scare people, especially the ones who don't know where to spend their excess money. Despite these complications, it's still being sought after by many people. So, if you're one of those guys with a tight budget, we suggest that you join us and find the fountain of youth instead. Number 4. Chlorine Trifluoride We have to admit that the progress of humanity has been outstanding, from the creation of the steam engine to the launching of rockets to space. But for some reason, it seems that the materials are becoming more and more dangerous. Chlorine trifluoride, or better known as Substance N, during World War II, is a reactive chemical. And when we say reactive, we mean very reactive. It reacts with practically everything, and it can ignite even glass materials, sand, and yes, you guessed that right, people. I'm sure some of us seek a little bit of danger for excitement, but if you start talking chlorine trifluoride, we'll take a hard pass, thanks. This liquid chemical is so corrosive that it can make practically anything burst into flames on contact. We're pretty sure the compound's common name is nope. Some of you might be thinking, if this is so dangerous, then why create it? This is a good point, though this chemical is definitely a nope. It actually is a very useful chemical for it is used in rocket fuels and processing nuclear reactor fuels since it's a powerful oxidizer. So if you're not one of the people who work with chemicals, then you should be safe. Just make sure not to wander around when you get a chance to visit a science lab for a school field trip. You don't want to miss your graduation just because you wanted to show off to your fellow students or to your crush how courageous you are. Besides, this substance is nothing compared to our next on the list. Number 3. Batrachotoxin this neurotoxin can be extracted from the skin of a frog species or Phyllobates terribilis that are native to South America. 
If you're not an exotic hobbyist, then you'll probably think of these species of frogs to be cute and pretty due to its vibrant color. But within their skin glands, they store an alkaloid toxin called batricotoxin. Taking pictures of it here and there or even letting it rest in your palm for your Instagram may sound harmless and can be attractive to your followers. But if you accidentally inject the toxin for some reason and it enters your bloodstream, then you would probably be dead in under uh, 10 minutes. But hey, at least you'll have time to send a message to someone to delete your browsing history, right? <laughs> Jokes aside, though this toxin is an important research tool in pharmacology because of its action of holding voltage-gated sodium channels open as well as its specific effects at other ligand binding sites. It has no current clinical uses for two primary reasons. First, batricotoxin is highly toxic and dangerous to use for medical purposes. Second, there are no commercially available sources of batricotoxins or commercially viable synthetic pathways. But if you intend to collect some from the wild and decide to do some experiments yourself, then just make sure to not piss jaguar paw while you're at it. Otherwise, you'll be having blow darts with toxins flying towards you. But before you leave for such an adventure, make sure to stay and watch until the end of the video for this too may pick your interest better. Number 2 dimethylmercury. As if mercury is not toxic enough that we have to have this on our planet. Dimethylmercury or CH3 is one of the most potent neurotoxins known. It readily crosses the blood-brain barrier, probably due to its formation of uh, a uh, methylmercury cysteine complex. I have it on my month. Ow! Ow! Anyway, this substance causes ataxia or lack of coordination sensory disturbance, and changes in mental state. It simply means that the signs of damage to an organism do not appear immediately. Instead, they come later in the form of cognitive deterioration. The failure of the cognitive system leads to coma and eventually death. Now, that's something I wouldn't even wish my enemy's family member to experience. Despite the possible effects to humans who handle it, we still need to use it since it's capable of permeating many materials, including plastic and rubber compounds. This organomercury compound is also used by a small number of chemistry laboratories as a reference material in nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. An example of this is an MRI. By the way, this substance is colorless and has a slightly sweet odor. So if you're dealing with this at your work, then make sure to not bring any form of beverage in your work area. Or you might want to put at least three hazmats to be sure that you're safe. It's no question that dimethylmercury can really work wonders in the technological aspect, especially in the science department. However, uh, it makes me think, have we not advanced enough to maybe find a better alternative for this? You know, where we don't need to suffer unconsciously before dying. Let us know about what you think of this substance in the comments section. And now, for our number one pick, dimethyl cadmium. Our first on the list is probably the most dangerous that humans have created so far. Dimethyl cadmium is only sometimes used as a reagent in metal organic chemical vapor deposition and organic synthesis or MOCVD. If you don't know, MOCVD is a key tool used for LED production in the engineering field. It's one of numerous organometallic compounds sold by American Elements under the trade name eOrganometallics for uses requiring non-aqueous solubility such as recent solar energy and water treatment applications. It seems though that similar results can sometimes also be achieved with nanoparticles and by thin deposition. But dimethyl cadmium has more success when used properly. However, don't forget that this is still tagged as the most dangerous ever created. Why is that? Simply because this molecule can wreak havoc as soon as it enters our bloodstream. And it does not surprise a lot of chemists who do not wish to work with it. Even the slightest amount of this substance will destroy a person's heart and lungs as soon as it enters their blood, 
When it comes in touch with water, which our body is full of, it turns into dimethyl calcium peroxide, a highly explosive compound. It won't make you explode like the scene in the gas station where Zoolander's friend went flying due to their stupid actions, but if someone survives the initial contact with this compound, it's most likely that they will get cancer due to the compound's cancer-causing effects. So, yeah, it definitely deserves to be on the top spot. Besides, who knows when the next most dangerous substance will be created? With our hunger for advancement in technology and knowledge, I think it won't be too long. Let's just hope that it won't be something that can turn someone into the Hulk. This brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed what we had for you today, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and make sure to leave a comment while you're at it. Also, make sure to hit that notification icon to be notified for our next video since we'll be talking about the long-debated question. Are we the first civilization or are we just remnants of the previous ones? Trust me, you don't want to miss that. Thanks guys, stay awesome and see you next week.